Thank you. I, John Cranley, Mayor of City of Cincinnati, do hereby proclaim December 21st, 2018 as Tom McKee Day in Cincinnati. That's cool. After 40 years of reporting in the city, he loves Nine on Your Side reporter Tom McKee has retired. Tom will no longer report the day to day news here in the tri state as he seeks to spend more quality time with his family. So now we're going to take a look back at the decades of hard work he put in in the Nine on Your Side newsroom. For 40 years, Tom McKee has brought his tireless work ethic into the WCPO newsroom. Here, Tom had just made it back from Pike County. With a little more than an hour before the 5 o'clock news, right. he conferred you with producers. Go. Your yes. angle for six is different. And then walked back to the sound booth to put his voice to the story. That's in contrast to his first court appearance. I had great training with a boss named Al Shadokati. He hired me as a 22-year-old kid after an internship to work in his newsroom, then the 26th market in the country. I learned on the job that his mantra was, you do it right or you don't do it. In fact, it was in those early days with Shadokati that Tom found himself inside the story. Hey, hey, come on in. You better come on in. Come in, please. Come on in, it's too late now. Grab your seat over there. In October of 1980, James Hoskins held Tom and other employees hostage at the station before killing himself. Basically, we just sat there for the time being. Uh, and just to try to feel him out, see exactly what he was doing. It was a, a petrifying experience. I wanted to come up and see if I could possibly disarm him by throwing something, doing something. The closer I got, though, I realized he was well built. I didn't know what he had under his coat, his uh, hunting type of coat, the red and black checkered jacket on his hat. So I figured, no, we'll try and talk to him. For most reporters, the allure of being close to the action is hard to resist. And that was the case for Tom, covering the Queen City Barrel Fire back in 2004. I went down there, and there was Bob Wright, the fire chief at the time, and he goes, Hi, Tom, how are you? And I, he knew I was at the command post from that moment on, and I never left the command post. He never let, asked me to leave the command post. It was exciting because I was right in the middle of it all. It was exciting because I was able to give people real-time information that helped them. It was exciting because uh, that's the kind of story you dream of doing. Tom won a Walter Cronkite Award for his series of interviews with politicians, affording viewers the chance to ask questions themselves. These days, he defends journalists and journalism. I can tell you this, despite the claims of fake news, which are totally inaccurate because if people watch this work, they know that there is no such thing. Our responsibility has always been to give people Fair information, accurate information, and thorough information. And that's the way Tom wants to be remembered. I found if you're fair and honest with people and if you do your job with integrity, people are going to call you back. They'll do interviews with you. They'll give you information that perhaps they wouldn't give to someone else. You know, it's a two-way street. You be fair with them, they be fair with us, and guess what? It all works out. 